So Jennifer Lawrence was in a movie called Joy, which didn't really do very well at the box office. Now she is the face of a new fragrance by Dior called Joy. Is Joy by Dior gonna fall flat like Joy fell flat? If you wanna find out about Joy, I have a sample here that I've been testing. This was given to me by a sales associate that I frequent uh, and they had gone to a training for this particular fragrance and they said, I'm gonna grab a sample for Sebastian because he loves doing videos. So I've got my impressions and my thoughts about this new release called Joy by Dior. So stick around to find out what I think of this. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, I do have this sample that was given to me by a sales associate I know here in San Francisco who was recently at a training for this fragrance because it's launching very soon and she said I grabbed the sample for you because I know you love doing videos for fragrances and I thought maybe you'd like to be one of the first people to talk about it. and I said thank you so much so this is Joy launching very soon 2018 launch it's created by Francois Damashi who is the in-house perfumer uh, for Dior so he created it and this is 20 years after J'adore premiered uh, or launched in 1999 so I think it's the very first original woman's fragrance that's been released by Dior for quite some time. Not necessarily the collection Privé, but just a regular basic lineup of fragrances. So the very first time the fragrance is uh, coming out for a woman, uh, 20 years after J'adore, actually 21 years. So Dior Joy, what do you think of the name by the way? Because there is a uh, fragrance or classic fragrance, I think it still exists, Jean Patou had a fragrance called Joy. Very, 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 very famous fragrance. Um, so are they copying um, that fragrance? Definitely doesn't smell like it, I know that for a fact, but uh, I also read that uh, uh, LVMH, who owns Dior, is buying Jean Patou. So I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it really happened. I caught some headlines somewhere and I didn't read the entire um, um, story. So uh, I left it as is. But going back, um, Jennifer Lawrence is the face of this fragrance, the Joy fragrance. And so she had a, fra a film called uh, Joy, which I actually really love that film. I love films about people um, starting from nowhere and building up a career, yada yada. So I enjoyed it and I love Jennifer Lawrence's films to begin with, but that film was not a success. So do you think this fragrance is going to be a success or is she going to have another flop? Because her films have been flopping lately as well, so not doing very well. So hopefully she'll make some money, well she'll make her money here. But she's the face of joy and just like Johnny Depp was the face of Sauvage uh, from about Three years ago, the original, and this is the EDP version that came out earlier this year. They have Jennifer Lawrence, two very well-known uh, uh, celebrities, movie stars that are very well loved in, uh, the Fr in France, I think, and they both go visit France, things like that. So I think that's a given that Jennifer Lawrence will be the face of it. But I looked at the bottle for Joy and I thought, wow, this bottle is really ugly. I mean, really very very cheap looking bottle just like when this was first launched it looked really it still looks generic and boring it's like one of the most boring bottles but i think people love it and people really you know like once you see the bottle you get to recognize it so the recognizability is the kind of a thing they're going with but the woman's bottle is actually even uglier it just looks really tacky i don't know that's just my opinion but if you've seen the bottle let me know your thoughts because i, I just think it's the, uh, the ugliest bottle and i'm just surprised that jennifer lawrence wants to be associated with an ugly looking bottle like that because I don't know, maybe she, she doesn't really know, she just got the money and um, I think Johnny Depp got $5 million for this ad campaign. I wonder how much she got paid, probably a little more than him, but I'm not really sure. But let's go back to this uh, scent. 20 years after, or 21 years after, um, J'adore came out for Joy, uh, jo jo for Joy. J'adore came out for Dior, uh, they launched a uh, new fragrance for women. Um, uh, called Joy. So in 21 years, because uh, J'adore came out in 99, in 21 years they haven't had a, a launch for women uh, fragrance. I, I think that's what I read. Um, 
for women. So, I mean, they, they have the Privé collection or Collection Privé, but those are unisex fragrances mostly and it's not part of their regular lineup. So this is basically pertaining to their regular lineup. So it's been due time, uh, due due time. And I think there's also a Givenchy fragrance that's also launching very soon. I think they're redoing a fragrance called L'Entredit. Uh, so we'll talk about that in the future as well. But here we have for notes, um, bergamot, mandarin orange at the top, Middle notes or the heart notes is rose and jasmine, and the base notes is sandalwood, cedar, musk, and patchouli. So Dior is known for rose, the May rose or the grass rose or grass rose, and a lot of the Dior products, uh, facial products, use this rose. Um, I absolutely love Dior's facial products, and I've gotten many facials done at some of the department stores here, uh, where they have a Dior department, and they they use those products in the in the fragrance. I mean, in the, in the fragrance, but it's actually they also use the rose and it leaves the face really really lovely and I love that about it here they use the rose pretty nicely this is pretty rosy to me um, but um, also very very musky um, uh, in the cool times uh, I when it was cool out because we've been having a n not typical warm summer we were having a very cool uh, summer this year thank uh, thanks to the weather gods or whatever because it's been really hot but when I wear this when it's cool out it's like more musky and when I wear it when it's uh, warm out uh, it's more creamy sandalwoody if that makes sense but you can still pick up um, the rose but it gets a lot warmer and opens up and blooms uh, so very very generic smell to me it's nothing groundbreaking um, uh I've smelled this fragrance many, many times before. Um, one of the things I read is Allure from Chanel. Uh, why are people associating with Allure? Because it kind of does smell like Allure um, and people know. I think what's going on is here we have Joy, the, 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 the men's, uh, the ladies version of Sauvage uh, is uh, called Joy. I mean, the bottles kind of look similar. The, the, the bottle for Joy is pink, of course, pinkish and me, I hate pink, so you know that about me. Plus it has this ugly silver cap. It was like, wow, they, Dior is just getting cheaper and cheaper, but I think people like that kind of look and uh, it's more inviting perhaps. I think they do a lot of marketing research Dior and LVMH to figure out what works the best, but maybe they just overdid the marketing research. I'm not really sure. But going back to the scent, um, it's been done before. Here is what's going on. The rose is very prominent to me, along with the sandalwood and the musk. Those are the three standout notes. I, I guess jasmine's in there too, but I'm getting a fusion or a mashup of the jasmine and the rose together, and the rose comes up more. It's very, very fresh. It's very sensual. It's musky, uh, and it is kind of also playing like it is a, a woman's version of the sauvage, but they wanted to give it a more sensual, so softer edge, uh, whereas this one's the masculine, aggressive, fragrance. Uh, Joy is uh, the uh, sensual feminine fragrance if that makes sense. So they're completely contrasting each other. They're completely the, the reverse of each other which totally makes sense because women tend to be more feminine and more you know womanly and men tend to be more masculine I guess uh, aggressive and that's why you have uh, this fragrance uh, Sauvage. I'm assuming uh, they should have probably gone to their back catalog and picked out a fragrance name and you know eliminated part of it and called it that rather than call it joy but I'm just going back to that um, Jean Patou thing where uh, LVMH is buying Jean Patou and they wanted to call it joy or I, I don't know maybe it's the film they wanted to call Jennifer Lawrence's fragrance joy because she was in a film called joy I don't know where they get the names from but I guess it can come off like joy. It is joy-like because it's a very, very pleasant fragrance. It's, it's very like easy to wear, floral, musky, uh, soft fragrance. Has it been done before? Yes. I think I smelled it in something similar by Chanel. Not necessarily identical, but similar here. It's kind of in that same floral family. And also, going back to LVMH and Louis Vuitton, Rose Devant is, uh, the, I think the rose is very similar to this. And according to uh, rumors I've heard, Jacques Cavalier, who works for Louis Vuitton fragrances, works near um, Francois de Mashi, so they kind of utilize the same notes and same things. I don't know. But the rose to me in here is very similar to this rose. And of course, all those rose, um, the rose that they use in, in all the Dior um, 
facial products. If you haven't tried those facial products, guys, definitely do check them out. They're really, really great. Uh, I have a one minute mask that I use from this brand. It's awesome. It's about $65 for a tube, maybe 75, I can't remember, but I leave it on and I, I use my, um, just use it for my face. It kind of hydrates my face. And the rose smells nice too. But um, I, again, it's, it's, a, it's a bummer, it's not anything groundbreaking, but I think it's a given, it's not gonna be groundbreaking. It's a designer, they're gonna try and sell as many fragrances as, as they can. This one sells, this one is a big seller. It's a success, success, successful fragrance for Dior, and I think they're gonna have another successful fragrance with Joy. It's just, I think those of us that are deep into the fragrance uh, community and deep into collecting and uh, deep into like a, a mind and catalog of uh, various fragrances we sell, smelled, uh, you might find this one to be very boring, redundant, been there, been there, done that kind of fragrance. But those of us that are not so heavily into the fragrances and have don't have like a, a palette of fragrances that we smelled, this is going to be a wow to them. I and mean, this is going to sell a ton of bottles for them. It's going to be huge with Jennifer Lawrence as the face of this fragrance. Just like Johnny Depp was the face of this fragrance, this one's going to bank them. It's going to be like big for them. But maybe it's gonna fall flat, I don't know. Uh, I doubt it though. I think they're going all out with this one and I have a feeling it's gonna be a success. It has to be. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have launched something like this because they know from their marketing research they've done and all the focus groups and things like that, they, people smell the stuff and go, this is good, this is not good. So this has been tested on people. Probably this has been out, this has been around for two years. They've been putting it off and putting it off. Just like it took so long for them to, to launch the eight, uh, seven, seven fragrances from Louis Vuitton. Um, they, they were working on those for years before they launched them. Probably this has been in the, the works for some years. I wish they used a different name. I don't quite like Joy, but I think it works. I think it does work. People that don't, don't know a Joy by Jean Patou are gonna be like, okay, whatever. I just wish they used a different name. Um, and go back to their catalog and uh, pick out something and go there. I don't know, but anyway, it's joy and it's gonna be big for them. It's gonna be a seller for them. But guys, let me know your thoughts. I know this is a woman's fragrance, but I wanted to get this video out there and give you my honest uh, opinion about this release. But what are your thoughts? Do you think this is gonna be a success for them? Do you think it's gonna fall flat like uh, Jennifer Lawrence's film, Joy? Uh, what are your thoughts? Also, have you smelled it yet or are you curious to smell it? And are you typically into designer fragrances and you'll buy everything or you're more into niche and think this is gonna be not anything groundbreaking? Let me know your thoughts and hopefully all of you will get a chance and then come back to this video and let me know your thoughts. But for me, I think it's been there, done that. It, it's, it's nothing original but it's definitely mass appealing. The masses are gonna go crazy for it. It's gonna be very, very successful for, for Dior. All right, guys, thanks for watching this quick first impressions video for Dior's new upcoming fragrance, Joy, from Dior, of course, uh, with uh, the face, uh, Jennifer Lawrence as the face of the, the fragrance. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.